Welcome to the channel. Um, today's uh, video we're gonna explain a bit of the material, tattoo machine, uh, assembly and how to set up the table. First explain to what the machine is about, how to adjust it which comes later. So I use normally this uh, rotary machine, which is uh, was uh, a bit of a hard thing for me to do because I am used to do. I was used to do to the old old school machine, which you, at a certain point we're gonna go into that uh, coil machines. And a friend of mine, he actually introduced that to me and convinced me to use. So. But it's pretty nice, it's pretty cool. It's everyone have a different uh, options or uh, different um, choices, I say. On that, uh, I choose this, this machine, which is fair play for me, the best one. I can do line work, I can do shading, I can work with many different grades and stuff. And also the best part of it feels like a pen. Is a pen, by the way, just say, no. Uh, but you have a different sort of needles, you can use it for one machine only. Back in the day, uh, I used to have on my setup daily five to seven machines per day, which is, that means different set of needles. Uh, now, with one machine, power supply, we get everything we need if one machine only and set of it. So you should always care a lot about your your cleaning, your hygiene. If you are tattooing or willing to tattoo people, you should care about like you're dealing with blood and liquid. So it's just yeah, kind of normal. You know? And so you should protect your machine as best as you possible. Also, the whole fact of cross contamination is important, so you should be very, very aware of cross contamination, something super, super important. So, be aware of that. So, here's the little bag which I buy uh, here on a local to supplier, which is pretty nice. This is a biodegrade uh, disposable bag, which is apparently, they say, uh, a little bit of wild time, it goes totally disposable and goes totally back into nature. I don't believe that so much, it's plastic. Well, looks looks cool, looks green, so it's nice. Color, I like the color. My pinky, very important, bear in mind. Color on a life makes you smile in the morning. Interactive machine is all like that. So, and then you have this little band, which you buy also in tattoo supplies. And you wrap this around protecting the machine itself from any kind of source of liquids and you wrap up to here so where you can adjust the machine without compromising some people save that I'm, I'm right to not save much in that kind of materials why because end of the day you don't want your machine to get messed up you're gonna hold here this part so that's the part you're holding with the machine with the gloves so please, gloves on. I don't wear gloves right now because this is whole, clean and sterile. So you don't need the gloves right now, but I would recommend to do so. Uh, to the top of here, which is the machine adjustment, you can see it's clicking, tack, 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 tack. This guy, you, I always use a tape to also wrap around, so protects against my dirty gloves. You know, if I'm in a quick, it's a, it's a quick adjustment of the length of the needle. So you can see how long, how more or less needle you want for the, whatever you are doing, line work, shading work. At a certain point, we're gonna get to that, uh, how to uh, adjust the length of everything. So basically, this is what it is. Uh, you just setting up nicely. This is all, all here. Very nice, done, you know, so wrap around, just plastic, you can see it's not, everything is, is, is nice and protected. Here we have a little condom, no, it's a joke. It's just to protect the, the power supply where you touch 
every time you're using with your with your gloves on to switch on and off. Uh, some people nowadays we have a lot of different options of power supplies and blah blah blah. Uh, I opt for this called Musotoku, which is a very fair play good power supply. Uh, when you use a power supply, you have a different sort of a alterations on the value sorry i'm a bit sweaty because it's hot outside today it's really really hot here it's about 30 degrees so it's really really bad power supplies with they have tendency to with time of the time you're using it the time you operate the machine with the hours of work the machines is tendency the power to kind of wave if that could be called so i don't know exactly in, te in technical terms how to call that but it's, it's like a, the alteration of the waves of the, 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 the supply of, uh, from the power supply to your machine changes a bit with the time, with the age of the power supply, the amount of work you put with it. So, and that means the machine slow down sometimes, a speed it up other times, things you don't really want to have when you're working, especially if you do big pieces, big projects, you know, which is some people cases. Another thing is obviously you need to do maintenance on these babies. They are not like a waterproof, uh, don't do nothing, just work, 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 like a workhorse as it has called. Now they need some love and care. Uh, once upon a time, you should clean it, you should lubricate it. Uh, please use the right lubrication supplied with it. Don't use anything, don't go to the kitchen and get uh, cooking oil and put it in the machine, please. That would destroy your machine. But when you buy the machine, this company they supply everything you need to keep a good life term sentence to the machine for like I don't know. Uh, uh, it says around 100 hours per time. You should do a little bit of maintenance. I do a bit more often because I use it more often. Let's put it like that. Uh, I have this machine now for almost two years. It's two years now in August. And I've been done a couple of times of services, of course. Um, I'm very pleased with my friend who introduced to me. He will use only that. He is a bit more extreme than me. He has a power supply which he attaches on the top of it. Wireless, wireless this, wireless that. So the guy is just free for run around the studio if he wants to. By the way, I like my old school stuff. I'm still a little bit cranky on that. Here um, we have a two, three sets of needles today, which is um, which I'm gonna use. Uh, is it called? It's two. It's two. A few types of needles, of course. They, they, they call groups of needles, right? Um, I use. I'm, I'm trying to simplify my work way. Um, I'm back in the day, I used to have a plenty of different sizes and ways and 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 everything. But now I try to go down, 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 narrow down one sort of material I'm using onto. And you stand there for it's, it's more straight. It's less space, less uh, unfortunate garbage we may be creating also for the, the planet. Of course, should concern that. And uh, but also it makes life easier. No. So here I have for line you are because a three liner twenty five. So it's, it's so many I can I can explain in the future about needles. Uh, gouge, which is the thickness of the needle, the group of needles, why they are made like this, why they are like that. So if you if you follow me on that and subscribe, of course, and, 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 and support the channel, you're gonna get more and more information along the way. Uh, and I will share everything which I, I, I collected over the years and maybe I can learn some from you guys too. If that would be nice and maybe interacting, leave comments and down. And I'll be very happy to, to listen and to hear it or so read whatever you have to say or what questions you need to you have there. Here is another one called it's, it's a 23 Magnum. Um, by the way, I have my choice of magnums is two ways. It's like a flat straight and a curve. Is a called curve needle magnum? Yeah. My choice is curve. I I don't know why. I, I feel more confident, more more comfortable with it because I can turn the needle in different directions. And I don't have the swift, swift details on there. I, I like more, but this is some choice. It's by choice, you know. And uh, so it's 23, so it's a bit wider. 
it's for a bit larger areas we got a very long very wide range of babies like this uh, we start in uh, five magnum which is five needles the, 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 the interpretation how the needles are setting is pretty much like this like that so they are sorry my, I'm not so flexible anymore I'm a bit old now <laughs> Uh, like that, and um, so they have a five is the minimum, and on this set of cartridges they called, right? So it's a very special way to to. So it's it's amazing what the, the industry make it of this now nowadays. Uh, back in the day was a big needle, which you're gonna we're gonna I'm gonna introduce to you guys who doesn't know yet, who's not familiar with tattoo equipment. Is there an old school way, which is the needle bar welder together, which everything I will show you here, you know, how to weld the needles, which needles to buy, blah, blah. This is going to come with along with the way, okay? Just bear with me in that. Um, but now there is, you have everything pre-made, pre-sterled, everything is there. You don't need to do anything. But it's nice to know about, about more. You know, if you really want to do a, a tattoo, you want to be more, in, more into the, the, the the lifestyle tattooing, it's not just tattooing, lifestyle with the there. Uh, it's nice to know a bit more than just buy your prayer made needles. Here I use, uh, I think this is the large Jumbo, maybe not the largest one, but definitely one of the largest ink caps you can get on the market, at least in Germany where I live, uh, in Berlin, by the way. Um, so this is a big one. I use this to mix my own, uh, make my own solution of shading. Um, we can buy it. You can definitely buy everything. We can buy the solutions pre-made, so everything is like ready for you. But you can buy like a set of three, four, five uh, different grades of shadings and stuff. Um, I, I'm not so keen in that. I rather make my own and try, you know. And, but this is this kind of a, by choice again. My option, I opt up for that. I like to do my own thing. Um, pretty much, I do my solutions uh, for like this is a distilled water, simple distilled water. This uh, because I, it's not good to take water from the tap. Depends where you are on the planet. The water is more hard, more rush. Here in Berlin, the water is not so cool. I mean, I would not drink it. And that is just a water which is pretty much more pure. No. Um, again, it's about choice. I I rather spend a bit more and give uh, a bit more care about materials also because you know how do you gonna they gonna you're gonna use that for cleaning your needles. You're gonna use that to clean the skin of your client while you you know mosh the paper and whatever. So you should take care of that. So when you're gonna set up your table so certain things you can do with your bare hands which is but please wash your hands before yeah don't, don't just go eat your burger and just go into tattoo to set up your machines because it's a bit um, yaka, no? but then you should go for the use a pair of gloves when you open your needles so these kind of things is now is they they're pretty sterile so you should should try to keep them as sterile as possible on the environment around you uh, I rather I always like gloves which they cover my my I like it to have a craps around my wrist for some reason. Just, just a thing I like to have. So uh, these little things here. But you can have if you don't have anything, you don't need to worry so much about. But I need to. So I try to get as gloves as long as possible to protect my crappy jewelry stuff I have. And then yeah, to don't get uh, because on a tattooing on the process of tattooing, normally you, you work with your hands. You know, wiping here, grabbing there, and you know. And sometimes you just have, you see, you notice you have a blood on your hands here. And that is something you should avoid to contact. It's really special because, of course, it's blood. You know, you should keep, try to keep as clean as possible, as beautiful as possible. Hygiene, guys, please, hygiene. Super, super important. Your cross-contamination, your assembly machines, and the assembly machines, super important, guys. Keep in mind, always, that you have to keep clean, change your gloves all the time. If you're wearing masks, please change your masks once or twice so while tattooing, especially this time, corona times, unfortunately, we have to take care of that. Um, so when you, you're gonna do, so I set up my, my table in a very specific way. So here we go. So you open like that. So here you discover the needle. So you, you, 
your shell. So this little guy is is, is pretty is, is it sterile and you have like a membrane inside which is like some sort of a silicon plus silicon rubber which is super nice engineered by Quadrum as a company as a, a European company they do great material very very good stuff they love the needles and if you look the shape of the the the, the, the magnum is curved as I said and it's super super nice and I love the things it's something maybe I'm weird right maybe I don't know and it's beautiful. So I, 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 I try to keep these gloves, of course, open. They have a, like a little open, it goes here. Open here, it says. It's in English, okay? So maybe it can be saying something else in your country, I don't know. But here it says open here. Could be in German. Open here. It's the same, pretty much. Because you could lay them, leave them laying around on your station which I find super unprofessional, super messy, and I know people who do live there. Guys, super important, a pair of scissors. Great stuff, stainless steel, cirurgical, please. Don't get your mama kitchen or mama seeing scissors to use at home. It's not hygienic and the scissors are not good. They will rust, they will cranky, and they'll be very bad for the, for the material. So then you cut it off, half of the little shell which the needles come into half of it so you see here half so what i do there is it's very simple reason why is because then i have a little tape tape this is masking tape normal masking tape you can get on your your garden supplier or your bauhaus here we call bauhaus uh, in england it's called diy supply there's many different names around the world so man god knows how many names in there so then i create this little guy here which is Super nice, it's a little, uh, it's like a rack, right? We can buy them as well, you can spend money. If you really, really spend money, why not, you know? You can, you can go there, spend some more, a couple grand more and have more stuff and fill your house of stuff, which is, I don't tell to you. I, I just try to minimize and, you know, and use the, the, the disposable rubbish I have around me for something interesting, which is make my own rack and put my needles. So basically what I'm doing here, I'm setting up there Put it like this, and again, I start. I have a, this kind of um, way to do things. So my my colors, the setting of color is one way to the other way. So dark to lighter, bigger to small. Why? Don't ask me. I don't know. I don't know. Just me. So here, I put the biggest needle, second biggest needle, and then the very tiny thin needle. This is the tiniest you can have. No, actually, I'm lying. You can have. Uh, one single needle, but that is so thin, so thin, you have to have a really steady hand, plus you need to know exactly what kind of needle. It's a bit more complicated to use this special needle. I could, could go to that one point as well. It's just not so easy. Stay with the three as minimum. That is the minimum goals for now at least. And then you just set up the rest of it. Okay, then you Guys, to remove a glove, doesn't matter if it has contamination or not contamination, please bear always. Cross contamination is a very, very hard thing. So, and hygiene, super important, okay? Tattooing is fast as much as Dr. Min and microsurgeries. So please, always. So you first, this is a glove, right? this is what you've been using around, right? So you get from the outside here, there, okay, move in. Then you get here also the tip of your finger from inside as well, and then remove it. Okay, so you don't have any contact to the outside of the glove. So turn things around, rubbish, and goodbye. Okay, so simple as that. Don't have to do much more. Then we're gonna come to the more specifics: how to set up your table, your workstation, assemble your machine again. We're gonna revise everything. Gonna go over everything again. Then I'm gonna go also with my mixing colors, which kind of colors I use, and how to, it's so much, it's really so much we can do about it, but we're gonna get to that in the process in the next video. So if you like, say hello, thanks, and subscribe. Thank you very much.